Hey, just got to the theater and time to prep my hair and get my makeup on for tonight's performance. I did four years in Mamma Mia where I used my own hair and then I had to do rollers every night, which is actually harder than pin curls, so I'm, I'm grateful for pin curls. They save your hair. The first time I ever became a redhead was because of a show. I was doing a production of Nine and they couldn't afford a wig. So they asked me would I mind dyeing my hair red and I had never been a redhead before and I thought, all right, I'll do it for, you know, they're not paying me much, but this will be a fun experiment. And then I just fell in love with the red hair and I've been a redhead ever since. This is the sexy part, the wig cap. It's all about the hair for me. Hair is, is the most important part of the whole role. Whenever I'm doing a new show, all I care about is what the wig is going to look like or what my hairstyle is going to be. That helps me find the character more than anything else. First I do my foundation. And then I do a little powder to kind of keep everything from moving around. The show takes place in the early 1900s, so I was told by the designer that the cheek was very pink. I'm doing some eyeshadows, lots of different colors. Started with like a creamy base. This is like the shadow to hollow out the eyes a little bit. A little purple, a little brown. Okay. You don't get much call to wear tangerine colored eyeshadow in real life, but sometimes on stage it works. Then I take this blending brush and just kind of smooth it all together. And that's the eyeshadow. Madame Demare has some serious eyebrows. I use the line of my brow, but I kind of make it a little bigger than what it is, a little more arched. because She's sort of an arched kind of character. You see those lines and, and how they express thoughts more than you actually see eyeballs. So it's important to make sure that they're visible enough. And then the eyeliner with this teeny, teeny, tiny little brush. Now I don't wear false eyelashes in this show because I'm a grandma and because it's the early 20th century. I just didn't think it was necessary. The only thing I'm missing is lips. Ready. That's Madame D's face. Now I have to go get my wig. Hey babe, don't worry. Through the bowels of the lunch fountain. Hello. Hi. Sorry. So there she is, my character on a stick. <laughs> this is a lesson in pins. Bobby pin, hair pin. So hairpins can go through, there's a little bit of lace right here, and if you do it gently, you can pin right through the lace into the wig prep so that it's nice and secure. Thank you. You the tightest you can make it. The last piece of the puzzle my elbow length gloves. And now I am officially Madame du Marier. The audience is waiting. I'll see you later. Thanks for visiting Playbill.com.